Okay, it is do or fry time for this plasma panel. Time for it to die. Yeah, that ain't much primary voltage. Give it about 100 volts. <laughs> Some hot spots in there. Wow. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's blowing out the driver cords. <laughs> Insane. Insane in the mainframe. <laughs> this is the most persistent one yet. Look at the lightning arcing between the dead spots. Wow. Still going. I'm putting a face visor on just in case the entire bloody glass overpressurizes and pops. Wow, that one's persistent. Glass still hasn't broken. Once the glass breaks, you don't get this kind of shit happening. <laughs> this is the same microwave transformer that has killed all of the other plasma panels that I've had. Same one. Haven't killed it yet.
Holy crap, it's still going. It's nuts. It's better than any, any of those bloody lightning bowl gimmicks that you get from the novelty store. This is heaps cooler. You might even complain either. <laughs> totally worth it. See the ribbons and the little uh, chip on film ICs going crazy on the back there. Just little flashes. Eventually it'll crack the glass and we'll lose vacuum or pressure or whatever's in it. Inert gas. Being a cold fluorescent lamp array, essentially, it's not really plasma, it's just a CFL array, so once you lose that gas charge, she's dead. Wow, the voids are getting bigger and the arcs just keep maintaining. The mot isn't even smoking. I can smell a little bit of warm lacquer, but that's about it. That's insane. I sort of want the whole front glass to just explode. <laughs> I know there's a protective laminated panel on the front of it, but I want the actual panel itself which is another two layers of glass to just go pop. No one might like it, probably won't, but we'll see. Turning the variac down a bit, see if we can change things a little. Slow the plasma down. <laughs> Full bore. Hurry up and die, damn you. I don't have my hammer. I left that one at the scrapyard. One of the guys there has it.
Do I need two mods to kill this thing? <laughs> it looks like it. Or a mod capacitor. I just got to turn this one off for now. I'm out of camera battery. <laughs> Everything else is fine. Zero volts. It's a nice burning mark though. Oh, I guess while this cools down and I recharge the camera, I might as well hook up a second microwave oven transformer. Make for even more fun. We'll finish this thing off good and proper. As a part two, because this video is almost 15 minutes long. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. That was pretty epic. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for much more.